What's going on, everybody? Um, so, a little fan mail opening, and this one is a shorter one, so I figured this would just be easier to do a top-down view with. And a little more enjoyable this way, kind of going back to, like, the old ways that I used to do, like, um, opening things, like unboxings and stuff like that. It's fun to do it one-handed. Um, so I wanted to go through a couple of them. The box I'm going to leave last because I know who that's from and they deserve a little special moment. Uh, but we'll go with the letters first. So the first one is from Audrey. And she did... I preemptively cut them too just so I could easily do this one-handed and we don't hear loud ripping noises. And heads up, I go by Ray. Sorry about that. Ray, let's see what you got. This is the fun part, trying to open the letters while using a one hand. Oh, God. What's that? What's that? Oh, it's a picture. There's you. Oh, it's her and her dog. It's adorable. Good photo, too. Do you do it for school? see what we got here all right dear patrick i'm hoping i spelled your name right you did i go by ray despite what's on the envelope i'm 11 going on 12 in august i've been subscribed for a month or two and i love your videos and channel in general these are pictures of me and my dog margie i have a youtube ray sama if you guys want to go subscribe to her tumblr ray sama blog and instagram Ray Gigliotti 60, I think. I hope I got that right. I've been on the edge of starting my YouTube channel. I don't know if I should because I don't have any equipment for it. Enough talking about me. I hope your day's going well. I don't know why I'm asking this, but do you have a pet? I'm curious. Also, what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? I'm afraid I have to go. Bye. Audrey, P.S. Could you give me advice on starting a YouTube channel? Well, <clears throat> first off, uh, for your first question, I do have pets. I have three dogs right now, um, all Labradors. They are Abby, who is the oldest one. She's about 14 years old. Then there's Zeke, who just turned 10 a couple of months ago. He is a 200-pound, 10-year-old Lab who still thinks he's three months old and can jump on my lap. Uh, then the youngest is Mocha, who is... Oh, man. I blanked the age. Eight. I'm sorry. She was a... She was a rescue dog, so I was just trying to remember what age we kind of figured it out at, and I've just been counting from there. Uh, but yeah, uh, starting your own YouTube channel, I would say the advice I would have for it is start do creating things that you personally love. Like, you know, if it's like doing readings or doing cold reads or just kind of going about your day, like just recording what you see in vlogging i've seen a lot of happy people just do vlogs so, and that one if you know how to express yourself and you're able to like just put your thoughts out there in front of a camera that's a fun one to do uh what inspired me to do my youtube channel is i would just say um maybe a couple of years ago it was just mainly where i put all of my fun voiceover stuff and that's still what i do now but now i kind of do it driven by you guys so i figured I've seen a lot of people who just put themselves out there for the sake of entertainment, just to entertain. But I like working with YouTube commentators and just creating stuff with that. It is a lot more fun to do just because it is basically, here's a whole bunch of fun scripts. Read them for us, please. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll get there. All right. This next one is from Kathleen. And uh, she drew a tiny little cat version of herself. Hi, Kathleen. And, oh, ho, ho. sealed with a kiss. I got it. And that was our favorite. Oh, I'm glad you like that. Whoop. Oh, it's two things. I was like, I hope I did not cut this thing in half. All right, so here's the first thing. Do -do -do. Ooh, long one. <clears throat> hey, Pat, I know you get this a lot from people since you started working with Jess, but I found you mostly through the Travis character you voice. Voice over and vo vocal acting in general have always interested me, Blech. even when I was a little girl. And I've been told I'm not... I'm a natural actress. Okay. I was like, I'm not an actress? I'm like, okay. 
I'm also rather a fan of the fact that you're one of those people whose face doesn't seem to match their voice or personality. I get that a lot. It's always fun to discover somebody like that. Also, the and the GMT by the comment views. But I think you should probably say by now that I'm 18 years old and I have loved Travis and his voice for possibly three or four years now. Have I been doing Travis for three or four years? Really? Jesus, I felt like it's only been two. The vocal intensity when he goes to Emerald Travis keeps my sister and I on the edge of our seats and always gets me psyched for the next episode to find out if he beats the potion demon inside him. If you don't know about the potion, then ignore what I said, please. I know what it is. I've got it. Surprisingly, actors research the show when it comes to fewer seasons, so I watched Emerald Secrets. Oh, did I watch Emerald Secrets? <laughs> anyway, I hope your day goes well. Kathleen, P.S. I like to sing too. Can you say hi to Max, Ross, Jess, and Jason for me? Max, Ross, Jess, Jason, if you're watching, Kathleen says hi. Um, and these are her YouTube handles, or uh, Instagram, if you guys want to go follow her. I'm still trying to wrap my head around that I've been doing Travis for three to four years. It really does not feel like that. And I think Kathleen put in some fan art. Which she did. Oh. Little Travis. Tenny Travis. Saying hi. He loves hugs. He loves a taco. He wants to get the cool egg. Okay. Oh. Don't tell me I read there. I like this. Can Tammy have an autograph, please? Seriously, though, please. I brought my own pen and paper. And could you send it back to? I included postage. She did? Did she? That's the other letter. I have to look for that. But yes, Kathleen, as soon as I have found the postage and paper and pen, I will send return that autograph to you. All the sake for Tammy Travis. All right. Third letter. This is from Hella Fer uh, Hula Ferguson. Fan letter. You throw up fan arts inside. And there's a snack. A little snack. You look like tiny spaghetti and I love you. Oh, wasn't kidding. There's a fan. That letter on the back. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. That is precious. I love the kimono. I really kind of want that kimono now. Put <laughs> a letter on the back. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's yourself. Okay. Dear PM, I am that dorky small YouTuber thing, Happy Homestucker, that dorkily mailed you. I drew a semi chibi and a Komodo because why the fact not? Neko face. I love the God creating shit vids it's so much that I showed them to my friends and they laughed so hard. You made my month with your help, thank you. And I now glomp you then with the letter. Follow me because I'm lonely. So these are her channels, so I suggest you guys go follow her. If the blue leaked in, that says Happy Homestucker on DeviantArt. And then the Tumblr is the real Happy Homestucker, and YouTube is Happy Homestucker! Right. I love this. Look at that beard. I miss that beard. It's mostly gone right now just because of that whole incident of me sneezing my mustache off with the razor. Let's not talk about that. So... Final thing, the box. I kept this separate, mainly because this I know is from the Fry family. Um, during the whole incident with the person who impersonated me and tried to slander me, Heidi, Mrs. Fry, went out of her way to send me a care package because I was dealing with so much stress at the time. So I wanted to see what she got me. She warned me there would be treats and such inside. And she was right. Oh my gosh. And this, now I know why. Heidi asked me what my favorite cookie was before. And I said snickerdoodle. And Heidi, 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 did you just send me snickerdoodles? You're, 
you, precious, wonderful, and I love that. Thank you so much. We have a letter. Oh, goodness. Okay. Big letter. Big letter. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Let me go off camera for a second. Okay, here we go. Pat, you've seen me comment as Adele Heidi1976 on Twitter and met me briefly at Genericon when I asked for your signature for my daughter. And now I'm sending you cookies because you're awesome. Also because Tiana suggested it and I couldn't get the idea out of my head. Tiana. I knew it. Boring and talkative, so you probably don't want to read this fan mail video, though. <laughs> Too late! I'm doing it! <laughs> <laughs> to introduce myself, I'm Heidi Fry, 40-ish years old, married 14 years, one daughter, and currently have a cat and a rabbit. My main hobby used to be with the Society of Creative, Creative Anachronism during medieval recreation, but cosplay costumes have taken over my spare time for the moment. I love cooking, sewing, reading, musicals, anime, and video games. I haven't heard of you until my daughter Natalie started talking about Aphmau. And her dad and I started wondering exactly what was this Aphmau YouTube show she kept talking about. Oh, Heidi... <laughs> I started. I drew the short straw, so we started watching it together the night before bedtime. Atmau got the green light. She can watch it without parents. Some of the better things she was watching, not so much. In any case, I've always loved the behind-the-scenes stuff, cast, crew, and animators. So I took a look at the YouTube channels of the voice actor. Everything is really talented. But you, recently, you have obviously stepped it up with, well, everything. <laughs> My husband actually watches your video without prompting from me, so I actually count that as a win. Oh my gosh! Well, your YouTube channel is funny, and I get a kick out of your content. I actually follow your Twitter more. You tend to put both the good and bad out there, and it looks like it's actually you. Not an image that you're trying to create, since much of the social media means a lot of positives. It's refreshing that you're willing to share some of your bad days as well as the good. I do love to admit that I, I love that you voiced Gabronth for Amy. <laughs> so does Amy. I'm a pretty good, bad, good influence on here. Either a Discord server in the Bins OC room or occasionally on her Twitch streams. The conversations that we all end up getting into is so much fun. She creates some of the best in-depth characters. Sadly, I don't think we'll ever get another fan service video from her. So we'll have to enjoy the one we have. Because if we're ever going to ask for a signature from you for me, it would have to be for Gabrath. I do continue to recommend you for cons. I have a nice little paragraph typed up, and now that I've actually seen you present your, present your panel, I hope it helps with your industry cred. <laughs> My attendance at Genericon was a sheer luck or a combination of good and bad timing, honestly. But I'm sorry. I, but I'm not sorry I went. I got to go shopping. If you want any pictures from your panel, I'd be happy to email and DM to you. That's right. Heidi was there when we did. Tiana and I did our voice acting 101 panel at Genericon. If any of you guys got a chance to go see it, it was it was a great turnout and loved everybody's uh, workshop performances at the end. I'd love to get the chance to say hi when neither of us have places to be. I do come through New York a couple of years since upstate New York is part of my region. I'd love to buy you a cup or carafe in your case of coffee or sit down or pizza or something. At the very least, we could probably talk recipes for an hour. We probably could. Honestly, I'm aware you have a lot of demands on your time and you do not owe me anything, so consider a friendly invite, nothing more. Enjoy the cookies. We baked them yesterday and shipping them today, so I'm crossing my fingers they get to you quickly. They did! I think that was the fastest I've ever seen a package show up through UPS or USPS. Take care, and I wish you the best. Heidi. P.S. Natalie, Natalie says hi, but she didn't write her... Uh, <laughs> that words. Natalie says hi, but she didn't write a letter or anything. She just hopes she likes the cookies. I guarantee you right now, because I'm going to eat one right now, I'm going to love these. If I can open it with one hand, I can. Because Snickerdoodles are always my favorite. Because this is one of those cookies you can't possibly mess up. Because even when they're bad, they're delicious. Because they're Snickerdoodle. But I love Snickerdoodles. Heidi, don't tell anyone. That's one of the best Snickerdoodles I've ever had in my life. And they're mine. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. And I love the letters you guys have been sending lately. These are really sweet. And Heidi, thank you so much for the care package. If the meditation doesn't help me get over that whole fiasco, he certainly will. <laughs> and hopefully, uh, if you guys want to send your own fan mail, there'll be uh, words. An address to send them down in the description. Oh my gosh! Descriptions below.
This is why voice actors like to do multiple takes, because we do that. Anyway, I will see you guys all around. Bye!